What is up? Welcome to the channel and this week's episode of the Rad Diaries. Um, I'm just now noticing that I start a lot of these videos off driving my car down the road, but I'm on my way to a job. And if you know me by now, I like to hitch out at shops on my way to places, like in and around my day-to-day -day life. So I'm gonna hit a couple of charity shops on my way to the job. Uh, but let's take a second to talk about the elephant in the room. Halloween is round the corner. Now I'm not a massive fan of Halloween. I'm a bit more of a fan these days, uh, but I like just sort of this time of year, giving me a reason to sort of watch scary films and play scary games. Uh, I'm not into all that uh, trick or treating and all that sort of stuff, but I do like to use this time of year as like a, a dedicated time of year to watch scary films. So I wanna ask you guys in the comments below, tell me what scary films you've watched this year. Um, I've watched a couple. I've watched The Terrifiers, Bun and Two. I've watched uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I think it's the beginning. I've watched Scream, One and Two and Three, I think, the good ones. Uh, what else have I watched? Uh, I watched the Goosebumps movie, Hocus Pocus. So yeah, I've watched a decent amount and I want to get out into the games room and play a horror game this week as well. I uh, have to do it, man. Uh, it's that time of year I need to play a horror game. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I can get out there, stick on a nice horror game and have a bit of fun. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you guys have played any horror games or watched any horror films. I'd love to know. But let's head into the charity shops now and see what we can find. Let's go. Now that's what I call timing. We just picked up a whole bunch of stuff from that charity shop. Uh, I found a bunch of stuff and as I went to the till to pay for it, they had stuff going out, a whole stack of games you saw from the footage. £1.50 each, that's what we love. We'll get into it when we get back to the games room. I'll show you everything I picked up. But it stops like that. They just make your day. Now I've got to get to this job because I am late and I need to get some work done today. So let's go. Here we go again. Creature of habit, told you. Let's have a look. Morning. 
morning, mate. You alright? Morning. So I was just driving down the road and I see this. Let's have a look, shall we? This is random, proper random. Come on. So yeah, that place was a hidden gem. I'm definitely gonna have to come back there. You see the mountain of DVDs there? Just haven't got the time right now to go through them all. But uh, I'm definitely gonna go back there now that I know it's there. It's only open a couple of days a week, but uh, yeah, I did pick up one DVD, um, but yeah, definitely going back there. Right guys, so my eldest has just been dropped off at dancing, so me and the boy are gonna pop around some of the charity shops, hit CX, cash and burgers, we've got about 45 minutes, so uh, probably sharpish. Let's go. Yeah. Daddy, look at this. It's a good lad. Have a
Right guys, so we've managed to sneak out into the games room. It's been a couple of days. Um, I'm going to go through what we've been picking up in the chariot shops over the past week. And then we're going to get into a game. Um, I've been wanting to come out here and play a bit of a horror game. So we're going to have a look at the PS4 collection. See if there's anything good to play. Maybe we'll stick in Among the Sleep. Or maybe we'll stick in something else. But we'll have a good look in there. Uh, but let's go through what we've been picking up in the chariot shops first. Right guys, so let's get into the charity shop pickups. Now I haven't done a great deal of hunting this week, but when I have been out, I found some pretty cool bits and pieces. I've been pretty lucky with the timing. I've been hitting the charity shops at the right time. So let's get into them in some sort of order. We'll do the first things we picked up this week because it's probably the biggest haul and then we'll go through the rest of them uh, in, in some sort of order. Uh, but we headed to one of the locals. I hit the timing right. There was a bunch of like, VHS outside, so I started picking through them first. And I picked up a couple of cool VHS for the collection and some to try and sell on. So we've got small soldiers here. This is going in the collection, 100%. Bit of a glare in the mission. Uh, these I'm not too sure about now. I didn't realise they were Sherlock Holmes. I just thought they were like some old school horror. Uh, but yeah, a couple Sherlock Holmes VHS here. Um, I think this one is actually listed on eBay for like £20. Pound, but I don't know if it sells for that much. But maybe as a bundle we might get a couple quid for them. We've also got this Queen of the Damned. Again, I think this is listed on eBay for about three or four quid. Uh, we've got Psycho here. Um, I'll probably try and sell this one. Uh, what else we got? Uh, the Company of Wolves again. These are just like, this is like some mad horror. I don't know nothing about it. Let me know in the comments below if you do, but look, look at this mad looking picture there. But yeah, a company, the Company of Wolves, I don't know. Could be a mad horror worth watching, I don't know. Looks like some, yeah, anyway. And then the Candyman here, which again, I think I'll stick in the collection. I have said in the past, I wouldn't mind building a little bit of a horror VHS collection. So yeah, Candyman will go in my collection. Is that all of them? I think so. I feel like I'm missing one. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, and then I did see one game on the shelf. Uh, there was a bunch of them Wii games still there. The ones that were priced up at a fiver. Still there. Uh, but they had another game there that wasn't. And that was this Lego City uh, Undercover for the Xbox One. Um, £1.50 I paid for this, it trades in for six quid. So yeah, nice little trade in there. And then, did I find something else? Oh yeah, I found these then. This is a bit of a weird one, kind of something I want to just sort of dig into and see. Uh, but there's this bag, I paid £2.50 for the bag, and it's just, it's full of like Lord of the Rings, like little, little figures. Now these are from some sort of tabletop game, not 100% sure, but I did look up one of these, and I think it was like the Orc. Not this one, like a spear orc, and they're selling for like four pound on eBay. So even if I sold that one, I'd get all my money back and a little bit on what I paid on this bag. So yeah, it's a couple of cool figures in there. I definitely thought it was worth picking up just for like an experiment, we'll just to have a look. So we've got this one here. Um, I won't show you all of them. Got Frodo, is it Frodo or Sam? Yep, it's Frodo. God, the focus is terrible. So yeah, these are from some sort of tabletop game. I'm assuming they got like um um. Some like elf, elf is it? I don't know. But they've got like a scores at the sides. So like you can move these little things up and down. And they like like points or something. Not really sure. Uh, another orc there. Uh, another orc with a spear. Uh, yeah, so there's a whole bunch of them in there. And then there's also these sort of figures. They're slightly bigger. Um, I think they're, off, they're also missing stands. They've got stands and they're missing their weapons. But again, I thought they were pretty cool. I say not all of them are missing their weapons. This little orc here has both his weapons. So yeah, a pretty cool little bag of like Lord of the Rings figures. Um, I'll do a bit of research into them, but I think there's a little bit of profit in there. Uh, if not, I'm sure I could sell this bag on for more than what I paid. So yeah, cool little, little experiment. I thought they were cool, so I thought I'd pick them up. And then when I went to the till with all this stuff to pay, she had a stack of games there. And I said, can I have a look at them? She said, yeah, no problem. They're just about to go out. And they're all priced up at £1.50, which is mad. Because all the other Wii games on the shelf were £5. But these were all £1.50. And I've decided to keep them in the collection. So we've got Mario Galaxy 2. We've got uh, Mario and Sonic at the London Olympic Games 2012. Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympics. We've got the new Super Mario Bros Wii. And we've got Super Smash Bros Brawl. So yeah, I paid £1.50 a piece. So that's £7.50 for these games. And CEX sell them for somewhere between eight, 60 and £70 pound for the lot. So yeah, great little additions to the collection. I've picked up these games multiple times in the past. 
and used them as trade or, or resold them to help buy other things. But these are the games my boy was always saying, are you going to keep these ones, Dad? Are you going to keep these ones? So this time I am. I'm going to keep these in the collection uh, for a hell of a lot cheaper than if I was to buy them uh, in CX or whatever. So yeah, it's always good to pick up games to the collection super cheap. And if I sell and trade in all this other stuff, I'll get my money back for them. So they'll technically be free. And I should make a little bit of profit on top of that as well. So that's the best way to collect. I said it before in the past. Excuse me. But yeah, always good to add games into the collection for free. And some decent games at that. Right. So the next time we went out, we went to the Recycle Centre, I believe. And there were some PS4 games on the shelf. These were £2 each. Now we got uh, Skyrim uh skyrim the special edition now this trades in i believe for six pounds i think they sell it for like 10 to 12 so six pound trading on that i think i'm going to keep hold of that again another skyrim here this is the vr uh this is only worth i think four quid i think they give you one pound something trade and then we've got borderlands the handsome collection now this trades in for six quid so what i'll do is i've already got this so i'll trade this in keep these in the collection uh so i'm basically getting them games for free and getting my money back on this one, basically. So, yeah, always good to do that. And then in the footage, you saw that weird like, sort of church I went to. It's just like a little red sign saying charity shop, proper creepy weird. But when I went inside, it was a bit of a hidden gem. Speaking to a lady in there, lovely lady. Like She invited me back for a cup of tea, which I'm going to do, actually. Um, but she was telling me, like, we are cheap. Everything is cheap. It was 10 DVDs for a pound. Anything, like box sets, a lot. She was like plushies, 20p, board games, 50p, clothes, a pound. It was cheap. So I'm going to go back there. It's only open a couple of days a week. Uh, but I didn't have time to sit there and go through it. I had a job to get to. Uh, but I did pick one DVD up and it cost me 20p. And it is this Garth Brooks like box set. It comes in this like uh, steel book here. And yeah, I paid 20p for it. And they give you five pound trade in CX. And they sell it for a tenner. So a nice bit of trade in there from a 20p spend. So that is everything we picked up from the charity shops. We then had a brief visit to town, popped into the CDX, had a look at a few horror games in there. Sort of the theme of the video. I've tried to stay uh, a bit of like a Halloween special, everything sort of horror related. So I had a look at some cool horror games in the, in the PS4, for, for the PS4, sorry. I didn't end up picking anything up at that moment, uh, but I popped to Cash Converters and there was actually a game in there that's been on my list for ages and I just haven't seen it in person. And that is Shovel Knight. Now, after I've been listening to, I think it was Pixel Plus uh, podcast, they had The Completionist on there, and he said this was his favourite game of all time. And I had a little look at the gameplay, and I thought, this is sick. How have I not seen this before? Obviously, I haven't seen every game. I haven't seen many games. I'm, pretty, uh, I'm a pretty um, novice, if you like. So I'm finding new games that are probably old games to everyone else all the time. So yeah, Shovel Knight was a game I wanted in the collection, a game I want to play. So I'm happy to pick this up. Picked it up from Cash Converters for 9 quid. CX sell it for 12. Uh, so yeah, always good to get it a little bit cheaper. Great addition to the collection. Can't wait to play it. So yeah, great to add some games to the collection. So yeah, I think we've done pretty well considering. Um, got what, a nice stack of games. What? 5, 6, 7, 8. We've got 8 games going into the collection and I only paid for one technically. So yeah, that's a good day or a good week in my books. So yeah, very, very happy. But anyway, enough of my jibber-jabber. I've stuck among the sleeping. It's all uh, downloaded so we can get into playing that now. So let's do it. Right, guys. So we're stuck on among the sleep. I've got the headset on so I can get proper immersed, proper hear it up close and personal. Uh, so let's get straight into it. I'm not sure what to expect, but I'm hoping it's scary. I hope I get scared. That's what I enjoy when I play these horror games. So, um, let's just get into it, shall we? Yeah, what the hell is this? Hey, what is that? Did you finish your drink already? Oh. Uh, careful. It might break. All right, so I'm in a little pen. I'm a baby. How do I get down here then? Circle. Crawling is faster than walking. Okay, good. Oh, we're gonna jump. Uh, this is so weird. I suppose it's kind of, oh my God. It's kind of relatable, isn't it? Because I just had a, a baby. Probably the worst thing to play. What the hell? 
Hey, you found me. That's creepy, man. My name is Teddy. Nice hey, to Teddy. Meet you. Nice hey, to meet you. What's your name? Out your closet. Okay, how do we get in there, though? Yeah, what the hell? It has to be darker. Shut the doors completely. <laughs> it has to be darker. Well, I can't do Shut it. Shut the doors completely. Yeah, this is creepy, man. Good. This one's crazy. <laughs> I'm a massive... I'm a massive coward, man. I hope there are no monsters in here. Yeah, what the hell? What the hell? Did you Listen. hear that? I think something's coming. Oh, it's mommy. Someone's in there, man. What the hell? Now, these noises, I'm, I'm not a fan, man. These noises are doing me. And it's not even like... I feel like an absolute... Pussy. Because look at this game. Like, it's like a kid's game. And I'm, I'm bricking it. Can't lie. Kids, don't play with electricity. Thank you. Good God. <laughs> ah, sh bed. What the f is that? Oh, you f it. <clears throat> Here we go. Inside this thing, whatever it is, like a slide, is it? Ah! <laughs> so yeah, I got shit up a little bit then. When that, when whatever it was. Are you all right? Oh hello! Why are you pushing me? Why are you bloody pushing me around. Come on. Move. Yes, we're up. We're inside the tree house. Is that good? Is it good to be in here? I hope so. Yo. Those noises, man. Get in the damn slide. So yeah, I don't think I could have played this with the kids. Um, it's just, it's just the noises. Yeah, it's just the noises. Sorry, I thought I heard a noise outside then. Some weird noise then. Yeah, it's just like the atmosphere of it when you're playing it and like the heart beating and probably the fact that I've got the headphone. Mate, I swear to God, can you hear that? There's like some funny, there's like some funny noise coming from outside. That's bizarre. I don't know if I'm just getting in my head um, with this game or whatever, but I swear I can hear noises outside. But yeah, definitely don't think I could have played this with the kids. But, oh, mate, I swear to God, let's go have a look, man. I swear I can hear something out there. Let's, let's go have a look. It's 
Man, I missed something out there. Let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. Let me get my shoes on. All right, let's have a look. Come on, let's go have a look. Oh. I swear to God, man, I can hear something outside. It's coming from in the woods. What's that noise? What's that noise? Yeah, I swear to God. There's some sort of weird noise coming from up there. Oh my God. What is that? What is that noise? Can you hear that? I don't know if it's coming through on the camera, but there's some mad noise coming from in the woods. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, it's coming, man. I swear to God, someone's coming. Someone's coming. Oh no. 